Hey guys, how we doing? Hey Mitch. What's up Mitch? How are you guys? Hey Mitch. Good to see you guys. So hey, we're here to kind of help uh, talk about uh, an upcoming workshop we have with the Plain Air Painters of America. And I'm President Mitch Baird and we have four other um, signature members and you want to introduce yourselves. I'm Dave Santianis. Um, you know, I paint. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? <laughs> Hi, my name is Amy. I'll go. Eric didn't hear that. Um, Amy oh. Erickson, <laughs> Portland, Oregon. Excited yeah. to paint in Arizona again. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. on the board. I'm on the pop-up board. I'm the yeah. treasurer. We're the yeah. Amy's the treasurer. Oh yeah, and um, I'm not on the board. My name is Eric Jacobson, and uh, I I'm in Maine right now, but I sometimes go to Arizona. That's so, right. And I'll and I'll be there with these guys. I can't wait. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, Papa has a pretty long tradition of um, teaching and sharing the legacy of plein air painting. And so this year we actually are doing a workshop in the Sonoran Desert through the Scottsdale Art School uh, here in uh, Scottsdale. And uh, those dates are February 13th to the 17th. Uh, and we'll get into some of the other details about it. There's, there's a, some great bonuses about this workshop that we kind of want to uh, share with everybody. And so uh, before I do that, uh, I'll, I'll break down the workshop is a is a five day workshop we start out with a, a day of lectures. So each of us will lecture on a subject. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then once once the day of lectures done we also then spend the rest the other four days uh, teaching out in the field. And what's great is we have a duo it's a kind of a duo situation where the two of us will paint or teach together. And for two days and then the students swap the other two days so there's four days of teaching but you get two days with each teaching duo so eric and i will be teaching for uh, as a group and amy and dave will be teaching as a group and so you kind of get the experience of working both uh together uh with each artist and being able to swap in two different groups what's great about uh, us four is we have a long history together uh, Eric and I have taught for years together. Uh, Amy, she, we kind of were all in Oregon, the three of us. Dave, Dave's in Colorado there. He's on the yeah. outside. But, but we, um, we have a long history of painting together, doing uh, plein air events and um, museum shows where we travel and paint together a bunch. So that's the kind of the part I think is going to be fun is we, we have this um, kind of camaraderie. You'll find there'll be some, some serious humor uh, when you take our workshops. There'll be a lot of valuable data but put out put on in a very fun uh charismatic way you guys have anything to add to that yeah i think i've i've been giving mitch grief for probably <laughs> at least 10 years now at least 10 years at least 10 years i think we met in rocky mountain plain air painters maybe we did yeah and so we've we've had many adventures going back to them and then probably most um, recently in the plain air circuit. So, and that's where I met Eric and Amy as well. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it will be fun. There'll be some banter. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it'll be great. And, you know, I always like to say, you know, these things are pretty casual as far as, as far as the personalities go, but the information is going to be real good and, and you can count on it because it's not our own. It's this is just, we're going to teach core principles of painting. And I know I've taught um, alongside Amy, I, I've been a, um, a, uh, an assistant in her workshops and I've taught with Mitch and Dave and I have painted together. And um, the really neat thing is, um, all the information that's important to Dave is important to Amy is important to Mitch and is important to me. Really it's important to, to, um, to all painters. And it's really just, it, it's basic fundamentals that we're gonna be covering. And I know we'll get into that a little bit, but if you're worried or wondering, is this gonna be um, a workshop you know, on how to paint trees or how do I paint rocks? I think the answer is no, but we'll cover anything you wanna, wanna cover. Is, uh, looking at it from the standpoint of creating form, light and shadow, warm and cool color, that, all that kind of stuff. Anything yeah. to add to that, Amy? Yeah, ditto what Eric, what Eric said. I, I, I do think that, that you know, plein air, plein air painting is, um, is just like a, a, 
a ready realm for anybody who wants to paint, no matter what their level. Um, because anytime you pick up your brush and you're out in the landscape, the, the next thing you need to learn is right there. Yeah. And um, there's, so if you're doing that with, with instructors standing by to like, to help guide you through like learning what that thing is and not to be overwhelmed by all the other stuff, it, it can just be a terrific experience. Yeah, yeah that's a good point, Amy. It's, I, think the, I think what Amy's saying is, and she and I have talked a lot about this kind of stuff, is it's an open book test. Really what we're gonna to try to help you do is, is to learn how to see, because there, the reality is, and not, I shouldn't say this when we're um, promoting a workshop, but nobody really teaches anybody else to paint. That's gonna be something you're gonna do, but we're gonna go over fundamentals and we're gonna, we're gonna talk about seeing accurately. And I think that that, it comes down to that really. Most yeah, I couldn't agree more. Because if you see differently, you automatically start painting differently. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yep. I, I think you'll be surprised that in that in in this realm of the fundamentals we'll be covering, it doesn't matter what level you are. The the the, yep. the these guys that are we all look up to that are master painters, they're using the same principles that we're using as it, you know, all the way down yeah. to a beginner or amateur, we're, we're all learning these fundamentals and using these fundamentals. In fact, my, my theory is the closer we hold to those fundamentals, the stronger our paintings are. Yep. And, and you know, I look at guys like Andres Zorn. I mean, he's <laughs> probably my favorite because he is so simple. It's deceiving how well he holds to these, these um, core principles that we'll be sharing and teaching. Yep. So, and, and, okay, so, oh, yeah. Go ahead, Dave. Oh, I was just going to say, and I, and I don't teach differently to beginner student, students or professionals. It's the same information. You may be more ready to receive that information later on, but I think it's important to get those core concepts down early yep. and then you practice them the rest of your career. But, um, but, but the information is the same from beginners to intermediate. That's why I don't, um, I, I don't have a, you know a requirement for experience you know just the love of painting really same i feel like it's like yoga like mm. anybody can show up and do whatever they're, they're able to they're do level. yeah, they're yeah, like, and, and on, yeah and on that note um between us all we've got many years of teaching and um that'll be the whole idea this will be your journey you're you know you're not competing with anyone else in the class obviously or in the workshop and another thing that I'll just throw in there in case you're wondering, in case you're hesitant about Arizona. Um, we're gonna teach from the idea of um, uh, design. So it's gonna be um, design focused, not subject focused. So we're, it's, we're not gonna be there to teach you how to paint um, a mesa or how to paint uh, a saguaro cactus necessarily. It, again, back to the principles, it's gonna be design practice. <laughs> be teaching about good design, how to put together a good composition with light and dark that you're seeing out in front of you. Uh, the reason I say that is sometimes people think, well, I never paint the desert. Why would I want to go take a workshop? Well, the, the principles will apply anywhere that you are. So yeah, just so you know that that's, we have that in mind too. We're not going to spend forever uh, telling you, okay, this is how you paint a cactus. And two days later, you're like, that's all we did. That's you know? the, the subject doesn't, the subject doesn't matter. Again, it's the principles of form design, color, all those things that we'll cover. So you, you'll, you'll get something out of this no matter where, where we, uh, what we cover. Uh, I, wanna, I wanna take a moment with, with us and kind of talk about, uh, and I'll start, talk about our uh, lectures. So oh, my lecture- I wanna know what you guys are doing. Yeah, my, my <laughs> lecture on, on visual perception. So uh, I've been going down this road, which is ironic, we kind of started out talking about this, about how to see. And I've spent a few years really digging into the optics of the eye, how we have to learn to see, not only as a painter, but how we visually see, how our brain interprets and understands uh, visual stimuli. And so the whole, the whole process will be not only what we're seeing and why we're seeing it, but how to then use the tools as a painter to uh, kind of dissect that and, and use it in the process of painting. How do I, what am I seeing and how do I interpret it? How do I put it onto canvas? And so I cover that, uh, you know, it, it's a very interesting, fun um, 
lecture, but it has a lot of good information on what you can do and some of the tools that we use as artists to figure out how to visually see, which, it, which in turn helps us understand and makes it a little easier to put that paint on, on a canvas. So go ahead, Dave, how about you next? What's your lecture? Um, well, and I, and I think there's gonna be uh, a little bit of overlap between all of our lectures because, and we've never really compared notes as far as teaching, but I think I'm always surprised that when I hear uh, one of my colleagues talk about painting, it's a lot of the same concepts. And I'm thinking we arrived at the same conclusions, but from far different paths. Um, but mine's going to be similar, but I, I kind of geared around creating atmosphere in a painting. So I'll talk about how to create depth in your work by by analyzing shadow shapes across the entire landscape and so that's the thrust of my lecture and within that i talk about dividing the light family from the shadow family and how to simplify a landscape as you're painting it which i think is important especially outdoor painting um, it can be overwhelming when you look out at a landscape how do you simplify that into bite-sized chunks that you can actually think about painting. Um, so that, that that's going to be a big part of my presentation. Gear, all those same concepts, but geared around something very specific, and that's creating atmosphere in your work. Okay, how about you, Amy? Um, okay, my, my topic is... Um, visual editing for the purpose of composition. So um, in other words, as painters, we are not photographers. We don't have to take the landscape as it comes or merely crop some part of it. We can, um, those things are important. And that's one of the reasons that we paint on location is that we have all that information right in front of us, but we can also make decisions to um, emphasize or move things or make changes for the sake of the painting. Great. Well, I want to take you guys' workshop. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I can't think of, of people who do what you each just talked about in your own work. I can't think of anybody better to teach it. I know Mitch's standpoint. I know Mitch will delve into everything. He's great. He dives in and he will go down to the bottom and then dig deeper. And Dave, man, atmosphere and Amy editing. I mean, awesome stuff. Um, I, I can't, I had to comment because I'm like, man, that's, I, I, that's great stuff to be, be talking about. But uh, anyway, for what I'm going to do, are you, do you want me to speak now, Amy, or you want to talk some more? <laughs> um, I want you to talk about what you're going to lecture on. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to, so what I, what I've decided to do is I'm going to teach um, my, my, my talk will be on um Charles Mavali, and I'm, I'm titling it A Tip of the Hat to Charles Mavali. Everything I ever wanted to know about painting, I learned from Charles Mavali. Oh my and what God, I'm gonna, Eric, that's <laughs> awesome. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm just, it's, I'm going to break down painting principles that are applied by in Charles Mavali's work. So I can show examples and talk about things. Um, I'm not speaking for Charles Mavali, who, by the way, passed away in 2016. But what happened to me in my journey is that I learned a lot of things along the way. And at some point, I began to relearn them through art that I really liked. So I'm going to use Charles Mavali as um, sort of a, an example of his work to, again, talk about things like overlap and, and value and design and temperature and all kinds of things. Like that. So it'll be very much like taking a class, I guess, because it'll be dealing with painting principles. And uh, hopefully it'll be interesting enough for, you know, for you all to look at and, and talk about and think about. So I'm, that sounds wonderful. I, that sounds so inspiring. I, Eric, I don't know if I told you I was in um, Carmel and there's a gallery there that carries the, his work and had a huge oh, yeah. collection, had a huge collection of it, not all framed, just like stacks of paintings. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Usually, it seems like in all the galleries I, that I run to, into his work, they ha they'll have stacks of them, and you just go stacks. through without even without the frames that you want them, you know. Yeah. So okay, well that's great. I'm I'm excited. I think this is going to be um, a really fun um, kind of mishmash of of similar 
subject matter, but kind of coming from different angles, which is why we do this, right? Why we have four instructors and, and give exposure to, to the different ideas that we have. Um, I want to talk about the, the workshop layout. So, so uh, a couple of things the the, the workshop has a few bonuses on top of the uh, lecture and then the four days of painting. So the day after the knock, knock joke part. Yeah. Knock, knock jokes. So okay. the, 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 uh, the deal with the um, lectures is the day after the, or the night after the lectures will have an actual um, uh, dinner that has a raffle. So it's a paid dinner. It's, you know, it's obviously uh, catered at this uh, field ranch. It's called the Valley Field Ranch. It's a riding ranch uh, here in Scottsdale. And we're going to go and have this kind of dinner and, and each of us will kind of maybe uh, introduce and talk a little bit more about our work. But there's an op op opportunity where each of us are going to donate a painting. And so you're going to be basically paying for your dinner, but there's an opportunity to uh, win for one of our four paintings. So it's kind of a nice enticement just to have you guys get to come and see and share. Uh, Can I enter? Because I'd like to win Dave. Can I enter? That's what I want to yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. No, no, no doubt. Exactly. So in, anyway, it, it's an opportunity for us to have dinner together, kind of get to know each other, and hopefully you'll be lucky and, yes. and snag one of our paintings. Uh, then on top of that, we have our four days of teaching. Is the lecture which, first? Which, which, I'm sorry? Sorry to interrupt you. Is the lecture first and then the four days of teaching? Yes. So the lecture will start out on a Sunday. Uh, this workshop runs a Sunday to a Thursday, but we have a bonus from Friday to Saturday, Sunday, and we'll talk about that. So the the like I mentioned, the, the duo split up for the workshop where we, we team teach. We're going to be teaching teaching out at a place called McDowell uh, Park, which is uh, uh, out here in the Sonoran Desert. It's kind of wide open. There's no housing out there. You're out in the out in the sticks, but close enough that you can commute in and out each day. And we'll basically just, uh, there's this park's big enough. There's kind of two areas uh, across the street from the main road, the main entrance go in. So each day, We'll do two days on one side with two instructors and two days on the other side with the other instructors and you get an opportunity to kind of paint different views and uh, out in the desert. So that'll be great. Um, and we'll each start we out in the mornings with demos. So we'll do demos and then we'll open up the afternoon to kind of wander and, and instruct each of, each of the students as they paint. Uh, you know, in the past we've done things where the students want to switch it up and we let them paint in the morning and and we'll do a demo in the afternoon. It really doesn't matter. We're just here to have, make sure you guys are happy and get what you need out of the workshop. So um, the other catch is uh, once, once that's done, we have uh, uh, the bonus day. So we end our workshop. We have um, three days where we're going to go and paint in the Vermilion Cliffs, which is an area in Northern Arizona, about three and a half hours uh, north of, of Scottsdale Art School. And those three days will be a, kind of an open paint out where we're up there to gather information and, and kind of do our own painting. So there won't be any instruction, but it's an opportunity for the registered students to come and paint along and paint and experience this amazing place in the desert. And you've seen it in a lot of paintings. Uh, it's very well known. And so uh, it's just a great open opportunity where you can come up, paint and rub shoulders with the other artists, with us. In the evening times, we'll get together and, and um, kind of after dinner and have, have discussions and hang out. Uh, anyway, I think it's a, a great bonus to those registered students to actually go out and apply the things that we've been teaching for the week and, and build some friendships and paint some amazing landscape. So that's, that's the plan for the three days after the workshop. And like I mentioned, that's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the 18th to the 20th. So Mitch, um, can I just summarize to make sure I got it? Yeah. Sunday we do the lectures. Sunday night is the dinner. Then we have teaching days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday yeah. we get up and drive to the Vermilion Cliffs and then paint that afternoon. Right. And then we have two more painting days. Yes. Okay. And those, and those, and those, uh, the lodging in the Vermilion Cliffs will be your responsibility. There's no, this isn't part of the workshop. So if you're going to rent a car or you're going to do the lodging, that's up to the student, but we'll be out there in the field. And it's just an open day. There's only so many painting spots along the highway and there's, there's just paintings everywhere. So uh, a lot of people just group up and we'll paint for the day uh, when they're up there. Uh, and then the, the only thing that you'll need to know is about registration is you can contact the Scottsdale Art School. Uh, they're the ones that are going to deal with registration. And their number is 
5707. Uh, you can also find them on scottsdaleartschool.org and there'll be information on there as well. So anyway, I'm hoping uh, everybody's excited and we'll see what this is all about. Just wanted to present to you uh, what our event's gonna be about. And it's something we do every year. We try to, to share our knowledge with, with others and keep the plein air legacy alive. So with that, I'll, I'll uh, say goodbye and anything you guys wanna add to that before we, we, we're running out of time. So anything you guys wanna to add to that? Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I can't wait in, in part of, uh, my selfishness is getting to learn from these guys. So, you, you know, no matter where you're at in your career, you're still learning. And so I'm excited to learn from these guys. I can agree with that. I'm looking forward to it. Too. It'll only be my second in-person workshop since January of 2020. Woo! Yeah. I know. In fact, I've only left the house twice. <laughs> That's an exaggeration. <laughs> once to go bowling and once to go get groceries. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. In that order. Yeah. And, the, and, the, and, the grocery order. Run, and the grocery run was because she rat, ran out of talcum powder for the bowling balls. That's and why. I I yeah. And I realized I can bowl it in my house. So. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to it, and um, looking forward to seeing what we, you know, uh, comments and whatnot people give us. Um, so, with that, I'll look forward to seeing you each, and we'll. we'll uh, make Thank you, Mitch. Thanks, you Mitch. Here. Thanks, Dave. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Great, great to see you guys. You guys are awesome. All right. Mm -hmm. You too. Okay. We'll see yeah. you guys.